Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars. I'm the Fusilier. Things might look a little different than the last time you saw me. I've just decided I'm gonna flow like water. I'm just gonna stick whatever I'm actually having fun playing. That's what I'm gonna try my four bits of. Because once again, I got myself into a bunch of games and played like 200 turns on each. So I'm like, all right, I'm addicted to this game, but clearly recording every second of it ain't working for me. So as you see, I took on a bit of a challenge this time, with only me as the Hivers and the Lear as my friends versus six enemies. As you can imagine, that's going great. Actually, it is going great. <laughs> the Orange Zool is getting absolutely obliterated. Specifically, um, we're, we just got Farcasters, so we're attacking them on every front simultaneously, which I'm quite enjoying. The frame rate of the game is really down, but a lot is happening right now. The game claims that I'm in third. I think that's kind of a laughable claim. I mean, it's all on normal, so it's fair, which is why I'm doing okay this time. Look at this. I'm a hiver. Look at my tech tree. I got anti-matter torpedo, anti-matter cannon, the heavies, the projectors, not just phasers, PD phasers and pulse phasers, and all the way up to lancers and cutting beam. Now you can see the, the tech took a circuitous path. Not your usual route you took the stuff. And yet, I've never seen rolls like this. The Hivers aren't supposed to be the high-tech race. You have like a 5-10% to 10 chance on some of these techs. And it's everything. I have never seen rolls these good as Hivers. This is the inverse of the human 90% node drive that keeps eluding me. Shields. I can make the perfect ship. Well, that's a bit of an overstatement. If the enemy gets energy absorbers, I'm screwed because my entire fleet looks like uh, this. So you got, of course, heavy beams, heavy plasma cannons, pulse phasers, emitters. Fuck, take your goddamn pick. Just take your pick, like... If the enemy puts shield absorbers on their stuff, or energy absorber, um, we're screwed. But then I just tech into kinetics, which I'm good at anyway because I'm hyper. So I'll get all the bonuses and I'll just smash them. It's astounding. It feels so good. I'm having so much fun with this one. Still a challenge too. It's six on one. Now, of course, the AI is not working together. If these were human players, they would have a bunch of shit over here. Like, they would be sending long-range assistance. AI in this game really doesn't know how to do that. Their neighbors, the Red Lear, have been giving us a little bit of problem with their dreadnoughts, but uh, their dreadnoughts are very fragile. I think we're good on everything. I will admit, the script that removes freighters from the game is very tempting sometimes. What I want is just a friggin' mod that automates it. Like, I don't mind the trade mechanics. I think it's, like, commerce rating is cool. I think, if anything, it's sad how underutilized it is. But, um... Why are you guys going via your, like, thrusting? Well, at this point, it takes about the same amount of time to go one place as to go the other. Whatever, because I got far casters, which are just the bee's knees, and have allowed me to attack essentially every single enemy. Let me double confirm, because a lot is going on right now. We are being very aggressive. Okay, we've got attack fleets inbound. Um, from our shipyard worlds, we will need replacements. Although I don't know about building new ships, because that will take money. And we're about to unlock the super shields with... Uh, I mean, you guys saw with the Lear and with the, the Mornigy what, what this combination of technology means. 
it means rather we're winning. Turns do take a while though. Things are getting pretty complicated. But hopefully when the Zul die, we'll be able to resolve some of this. Good god, it's slow. What in God's name is taking it so, like, kind of more complicated games than this, I hope. The only bit of chicanery I've done so far is set the turn timers to 60 seconds so they, they can't kill my gates. Although they haven't even tried, it's kind of pathetic. And I did force the Leer to colonize my, because we got, we even got lucky with our climate hazard rolls. Us and the Lear are basically completely opposites. No world that we find comfortable, they can find comfortable, and so on. Which means... You get this really awesome thing with your allies where every world is put to use. There isn't one single world in these clusters that one of us can't do. There is not one bit of waste. Which means we get so much more out of every cluster that we visit. I genuinely don't think there's a planet that at least one of us couldn't comment. Okay. Gate is arriving there. Alright, here we're attacking. You guys can handle that. I think five torpedo frigates can handle a rip bore. Um I want you manual. I want you manual. This does need to be handled a certain way. We're attacking at Galandro. Oh, what the hell, why not? I'm fucking... I'm recording. Although, with 60 seconds on the clock, I won't be able to do that much. No. We're just gonna keep it like this. And, uh... The Lear attacking, they're probably gonna succeed here. So it's time for the old gate dance. The, the, the wearing out the clock dance. You guys remember how this one goes. If not, I'll be happy to enlighten you. We do this. We just send a gate at the enemy world. It sits there. Um. The AI really doesn't respect gates as a massive threat. I've seen. The Zul has offered me ceasefire on some of these worlds where they didn't have much. A ceasefire with a Hiver Gate presence is maybe the stupidest choice I've seen out of the AI, and that's impressive. So yeah, it does involve a lot of that and a lot of swimming around. The enemy fleet does come get me, which for some reason they just bizarrely do not are not interested in. Like even when they have a fleet around, they're just not interested in coming to get me. Like, they don't deploy properly. They shoot missiles, but the missiles don't have the physical time to get over there. Which is very cheesy. I'm gonna enjoy killing this little so much. System updates. How we do? Well, they didn't like that we're going to these worlds. That's understandable. We can't use Farcasters on these because they are well, I'm too far away to Farcast. Navigation. Mark this trail. Okay, fleet time. Let's get them sorted. Torpedo. I mean, they're destroyers. So I just call them torpedo frigates because we're home world. Got that handled. Don't really need to move them back. Third fleet arrived at Galandro, killed everything in sight. We shall repair what is broken. Okay, good job. Now that you've exterminated them there, you do need to move on. I think I'll send you to you guys. As you command, Majesty. Teleport gate deployed at Oddity, so we need a point there too. Who's not doing other stuff? Uh, I'll give him a cycle of death. 
That sounds we move now. appropriately grave. Okay. Oh. We're gonna need. That's right, we did. Did we do three? Well, I mean, to be fair, this one. Honestly, it looks like the Leer are just gonna handle it for us. So we maybe don't need to send the whole damn fleet over there. Whereas over at Monel. Well, they got nothing there. Um. Tell you what. Holy Knights, you guys. Only 100k traffic, right? We will follow okay, we can make it. Majesty. Okay, so fifth fleet is headed to Mono. Fourth fleet is the one that I've sent over to the void. Third fleet is heading over to Opara. Second fleet is heading over to Oddity. And first fleet is chilling this turn. We don't got the gate capacity. That's fine. We don't need the gate capacity on this particular turn. I think we're good. And I just want those shields, so... Fast turn for once. Could be selling some of these worlds, but I want to leave a lot of them for the Leer because... The Zul and the Leer happen to roll very similar climate hazards. So I want to leave most of what's left for them. This even being recorded. Probably shouldn't record it, like the loading screens makes it take longer. Ugh, that's painful. Why? Why is it taking so long? Alright, looks like a busy day. Let's see here. I can try. Not in. See, the problem is in 60 seconds I wouldn't win. And every turn we're there, the Zul just sheet spam tons of ships. And then. Did we not send something to Hendra? Did we only just get there to Hendra? I think we only just arrived at Hendra. The ones with just the gates, it's kind of the opposite of what you would anticipate. That one is looking like a good uh, one right there. I don't need to show you guys this. Well, okay, maybe this one gets a little... Oh, Jesus Christ. Run. Run away. Of course, that's a lot of support ships. And boarding pods don't work on destroyers, they actually have to come shoot us. Speaking of which, we got... The lovely P, like, we got shit that normally you don't get. It's got a juke and jerk. And just sort of let the leer... Oh yeah, this is the one where all the mining fleets just sort of ran into each other. Said, hey, what's up, guys? These things can't fire directly behind them, so it's good to know when you're running away. Although, since they're antimatter and the enemy doesn't appear to have the microfusion drive, um, they got shit. Let's button stop it. I swear I know how to do this. The button stops the recording. Please forgive us. We were slow, but successful. That's so fucking good. Like that is so absurd that we got that. That is not what normally happens when you are in the hivers. That's not how that normally is supposed to go. And yet... Yes, my queen. 
We begin research. Like to build these kind of ships as the hivers is completely absurd. It's out of the freaking question. And yet, like I, I've never seen the shield head for the hyper ships. Cause it's okay. We get mana ceramic. Like we don't get as good armor. But in return, we become completely invulnerable to attacks, which I think is pretty nifty. I'm gonna keep the point in defense because we are fighting the Zul for God's sake. I mean, there's kind of no more misery than that. Um, collages are good. I mean, obviously the beam weapons are the best, but I kind of like the value I found in the anti-matter torpedoes. Isn't necessarily the raw damage I put. It's in me not having to be fucking bothered. Design entered into novel archives. Very underrated quality. Now we are giving up significant amounts of our firepower, but in a, again, in exchange for becoming invulnerable to attacks. Which I think is pretty nifty king. Yes, Majesty, ship design ready for construction. Yeah, give me the same on everything. Works for me. The little fucking design flaws. Like the fact that it takes off your armor and you don't even notice. Like that's a generation that was wasted. Yes, Majesty. Ship design ready for construction. Everybody in the ship bureau is getting executed for that one. I don't make mistakes. You make mistakes. The main difference is Hyver ships rely on all their sections to do damage. Because the assumption is you will not have absurd things like shields, we only have two forward cutting beams. However, we do get a large mount cannon as well. So it's not a total wash. And uh, these two, uh, they'll do plenty of damage. I'm, I'm assured. I'm not worried. Design entered into novel archives. Battle Bridge doesn't really have a place in this new design. Maybe if I just want raw damage, but... Oh, man. Oh, man, I didn't even think of this. Oh, man. Does the shield work when you deploy gates? Because, uh, this is what I call the gangplank design, which was just the assault gate. Like, this is what we send if we expect resistance. Is this gonna work? Is this seriously gonna... That is brokenness. There's a reason the Hivers don't get you. Yes, Majesty. Ship design ready for construction. That is broken, like... Normally... I think I'm gonna keep the deep scan head on the freezer gates. And, like, I'm gonna keep the scan heads on the normal stuff, like, but... For when, like, if the gate is ever destroyed, we put one of these down, and it's like, we could just have a battle. Oh my god. Okay, so, the enemy always focuses on the gate, right? You give the gate the super shield, you could theoretically just give the rest of your fleet normal uh, command sections, and they'll all just rush the gate. Oh, that's busted. That's if we get absorbers somehow, I would have to force the AI to teach us. Like, I'll say this, I didn't force the Leer to give us these. We didn't even salvage them from, like, the, the enemy Leer. We just are awesome. I don't to tell you guys, roll better. This is nasty. This is, something's going wrong. Like, it's going too nicely. There will be a price to be paid, surely. Four medium mount turrets on the shield, that's eight pulse phasers, plus a further six forward mounted. That's a lot of shooting shoot. That could Design be something. Of course, you can't combine certain things. Like you can't have a shielded destroyer, or if you must, it takes up the mission section. 
That's fine. They don't even have dreadnoughts. Like, why would I want dreadnoughts now? Just the command ship, that's all I need. Yeah, this is the kind of battle report I'm used to seeing. They can't touch us. We don't have shields on these. They, the enemy just is die. Like, they don't even get in range to shoot. The only way they ever kill our ships is if they randomly roll a boarding pod success. Okay, I don't know what we're going to get, but I'll be happy to do these projects. Like, yeah, why not? No. Okay, that one. Not too surprising. We do. We do make sure to have overwhelming force in every battle we ever fight. Oh my god. Okay. You guys are setting up. There were, I believe, no gate setups this time. If there were no if there were no gate setup messages, then that means that our fleets are not required anywhere in particular, which means we don't need to move them this turn. Like that, that stuff I showed you with the jammer scanners, I haven't even checked. I don't think we have jammers in our tree. I fucking don't care. No, I do care about this. Oh, that's just cruisers. Okay, and seven. We'll have to do something about that, but uh... I don't know, I guess we start building even more absurdly overpowered shit. Like, we were already steamrolling. This is going to change the game, though. Alright, I think I'm going to move the 5th fleet to go to Volani, because we've confirmed this is where the node path is to the next cluster, which means the humans could spring upon us, and because this is 15, um, they could theoretically do that in one turn. That is max level human engines. Which we've never seen them go 15. If possible, purple didn't roll that. In which case, that's another bit of our obscene luck. As for the rest, I mean, aside from incoming, which there isn't much of at all, it's like our thing in there. We seem to be totally fine on everything. Um, we got gates. We do got gates. Okay. We will follow this course, Majesty. Start flinging gates at the enemy. That should be ever like these are the last one, two, three, four, five. Last five worlds, and then it's over for our friends the Zool. At least these ones. They got a fucking another one. Uh, cause let's see, this one is red. This one is red layer. This one is Blue Zool. Zool are horrible to have as friends, because they never come help you. As I would know, I tried it once or twice. If they're the ones on the front line and you're the ones in the pocket, then you can work together. If it's the other way around, like, Zool in the pocket is the most useful, are the most useful motherfuckers. Anyhow, I'm going to build some ships, and then probably just advance the charge. And going to Freighter City, bitch, of course. I'm not even close to saturating my trade routes. I'm not even close, but I'm making the mine. Making paper. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Absurd. I believe all the sliders are just set to 100, like, to the base default. I believe that's what I set them to this time. Because I tried doing 50% research and 50% tech. That was misery. There, were, you, you just had nothing. You were just poor forever. You couldn't build ships. You couldn't get tech. I did it fifty percent everything and no savings to start. Brutal. There's a reason I usually start with ten million in savings. This makes the early game go by faster. And if you find the early game boring, don't play human. Uh, what's on the docket today? Altara, nothing. Dreadnought, is that an actual... that's a station. Oh, it's their capital. Well, their new one. I'm pretty sure uh, the old one got blasted. 
So we will be pleased to do that. We're gonna manual this one. Because otherwise we will lose the gate. Even though, as you saw, it's not physically possible for them to kill the gate in 60 seconds, they'll, they still just will. So yeah, I'm gonna invert it here. So a turn of nothing. Hopefully. I do believe this is them offering peace to me when I have a ship named Gate at their homeworld. Unfortunate choices indeed. Uh, this is Henja, the planet of literally just support ships. Now see, they're actually going to try and kill my Gate. Like, certainly they're going to be obsessed enough to kill my Gate. Uh, it's over there. The leader must be firing something. Like, I see any matter bolts coming in. It would be nice if the Leo would try to defend me. That would be pleasant. Come on. PD. Ah, the angles are bad. But we do have, like, adamantite armor. So I genuinely don't believe the enemy is going to be able to. They can't do boarding pods on me, not even on the gate. Although that would be kind of cool. Kind of, kind of heavy metal. Right, I'm sure. That's kind of a horrifying premise. Zool with fucking. Oh, they're firing at the slave pods, and the slave discs, and stuff. Yeah, point defense will engage things like bio-missiles in their launchers if you get close enough. Yeah, no, missiles do nothing, or lasers do nothing, kinetics do nothing. This thing has a million hit points. I honestly believe the gate has almost as many hit points as that cruiser. That seems right. You get gravity control is going to be been a whole lot of nothing so far, but this is really just mopping up the zero. When I don't have to do this trick, and by have to, I mean am exploiting the game, they don't even come and attack me. They just sit there. I could run the timer for like four minutes on each of these guys. I don't think they'd do it. I should be able to fucking do any damn thing. That's a warship, too, and they just. Honestly, their behavior looks like what they do if they were encountering cloaked units and that they're going close to the planet and trying like a close defense like if you come out of cloak near the planet to bombard it, at least they'll be there. They know where we are. They got missiles. A small fleet approaches, my queen. Nice oh, jump, lad. No, no. Wrong one. Yes. Wings unfolded and secured, Majesty. Oh, it feels so fucking good to just roll without even... With, like, no active effort, really. It does feel splendid. Okay. Kalani is doing good. All our colonies should be doing pretty well. The Lear haven't expanded too much more. Well, we got Mamoru recently. Which is nice. I want them to expand tons. I want them to... They are the number one ranked player. It's quite pleasant. Possible they're trying to expand here, or they just want to help fight. But as we see, you know, hardly, hardly necessary. Almost to the Lear, too. <laughs> they really don't want us... They really don't want us. Uh, the Royal Vanguard does not have the force to take that planet, I do not believe. But they have enough force to hold the gate. Okay, Marklar has a gate. Which means they need a fleet. Uh, I'll say no, I'll hit him with the cycle. Or my, yeah, I'm not supposed to play favorites, but the cycle of death is probably my favorite. Mark this train. They've got a storied unit record. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. We are honored to receive funds, Majesty. We will find the answer. Better. Okay, next one is over here. Um, 
So that one. Let's first wait. Over here. As you command, Majesty. Make sure you don't far cast to a gate that's about to be set up. Make sure the gate is already set up before you do that. I've made that mistake once or twice. They got the gate there. That's now that's what I call annoying. We move now. Not necessarily uh, tragic. There was a small attack there. It looked like it was repulsed without losses, but they must have got the gate somehow. Don't ask me how. Don't you ever ask me that? We will follow this course, Majesty. Anyhow, we're making a seventh fleet. Because why not? Bud is looking fine. We can. Is that it? Were the two of them just. Okay. Obviously, this stuff, nothing was going to happen there. Okay, Archon, get set up. Battle reports are also a great way of making sure you're on top of everything so you don't miss one of these. It wouldn't necessarily be disastrous. We can go as long as we want. Alright, I guess we're good for another turn of just advancing. You guys can have as many world. Honestly, I'm just glad you're eating. Okay, that's gonna be that. This button is cool, but against AI, I don't think it has a point. It's really cool that it's there for multiplayer, but uh, you need to like emulate multiplayer servers. I do want to show off battles, but not enough to sacrifice my precious trick. Luckily, there's only one gate to hold this time. I mean, we could, but I just. I just don't want them to live. I could try this one. I mean, we're gonna roll over them, but the planet's too big. They would survive and repopulate their nasty place. We want them dead. We want them dead now. Nice. I'm glad the AI is willing to just not waste my time. That is very pleasant. Of course, that's not the goal of it. That's weird that they just can't... Are their sensors not good in regular combat? The sensors are great in tactical things. This is gonna be a rough one. We have other worlds that we might be able to get in, so... This isn't the only chance to... Because once we're in the cluster, then we just far cast every fucking way we feel like. And then we laugh. Yes, they smile at you, so I'm glad. Are we even taking losses in this shit? This one we sure can. Complete absurdity. Oh, two ships. And they were actually killed rather than... Oh yeah, no... They hit us with a node cannon. I hate the Zul so goddamn no node cannons, boarding pods, endless fleets. They are, they are annoying to fight. They're more annoying to play with their mechanics. They're very unique and cool. That must must be said. Yeah, they did basically nothing except the, the node cannon. Show more care in the future. Teach these guys a lesson. Okay, then that means that corner of the map will be exterminated, pretty much, which we love. It is sad to let this in, some of this decent infrastructure just go, waiting for our allies to get the point. I could force them to colonize again like I did by literally taking over and sending colony ships. That's how I did that. Um, uh, that's going to be a while, just because... The Farcaster rig. Like, we might as well just send a force that way. 
As a matter of fact, we can bar cast in there. You're gonna donate your gate to that house. On the wing. Because of not waiting for actually ever. Navigation Place it with that one. Trail. You guys probably go down. Join the Holy Knights. No reason for you to be sticking around there while you're drawing, taking the Queen Shilling. We have to feed and clothe you guys. Pay for the maintenance of your ships. Which we somehow do even for fleets that are like 20 years out of contact. Just don't think about that. It's been about 35 minutes, so even though I haven't shown you a single battle, I'm going to sign off here. Might be more. I just want these Zul dead. I'd be happy to fight the Leer. I'll fight the humans. And there's more Zul over there, so we're never getting out of this Zul hell. Luckily, we ain't seen no gates. In fact, we haven't seen the Hivers at all, even though we know there's another one out there. In fact, occasionally when we beg for it, they send us money. I don't really understand. They're trying to be nice. Like, they agree to... <laughs> What's really funny is, you can s ask for people, and they will... They could reply affirmatively even before you know their language. Which you'll get with Morrigy if you just spam them with requests. They're, you know, the, the more generous races, you know, Morrigy, Humans, Lear. Like, those are the more diplomatic three races versus Tarkas. Zul and Hivers, who tend to be a bit more uh, militaristic, let's put it that way. Shit, man, I mean, if this is the only thing here. And yeah, next time I'm gonna play Sword of the Stars. Might do more of this, I don't know. I just know that I've done like almost 200 turns and I'm like, I can't do this without sharing. I definitely like the cluster gameplay though, as you've seen from other. Just, it makes, it funnels things. Whereas if you have a big long frontier, you know, that can present its own challenges. But there are some parts of it. Sword of the Stars can be a brutal, unfun slog. Or a boring steamroll. Or a deeply challenging, incredibly in-depth, powerful... Ripping game that just will not let you go for hours and hours, days and weeks, you know, thousands of hours of your life on. And it all depends on the settings you use. It is such a flexible game in that regard. And I love it. I mean, very clearly I do. Okay, see you guys next time. Okay, you guys watched the whole episode. I guess you'll see our arrival at Suzel. They have quite a that's actually very intimate. All you guys gotta do is hold the line. I'm pretty sure I put the cruisers in front. And find out. All you guys gotta do is hold until we can reinforce you. And even then, uh, this might be a very, very brutal fight. Alright, arrival at Suzel. All we're doing is running out the clock here. And there's not much clock to run out, which is nice. We turn slow, but our straightaway speed is very fast, which makes sense because the hybrids just use their regular engines to get around. So nothing may happen. The enemy might not even know we're here. That's a distinct possibility. Get that, god get that goddamn rock out of the way. Pew, pew. Keeps that rocky. Never mind, that's not what we want. Oh boy. There they are. Now face the. No, just go. I sort of meant for you to do that in passing. I should have made that clear so fast. Oh boy. Oh, they're mad. Lear mad. Oh, mad. We gotta hold two turns. Okay, do they have absorber heads on their ships? That looks a little... No, those are those look like assault heads. 
Assault Heads, and Blazer, perhaps Barrage? Nah, I think they're Blazer. Oh boy, run away. Actually, fuck it, turn and engage with point defense. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. I'm abusing it so hard with the fucking the, the dumbass timers. We detect like, hostile forces. Really unfair. But this game deserves it. It was not so difficult as we thought. Nice. And for this one now, we're gonna deploy. Sent an extra key, wow. Receive new wisdom, mother. This hive is intelligent. And it's like gangplank and hope to survive next turn, which honestly should be totally fine. <laughs> 